Restaurants come and go, but it's the restaurant's commitment to the community that makes the difference. Chibo, which has been in the industry for 15 years, shares that there should be more to restaurants than just food. Chibo um, means food in Italian, uh, it means sustenance, and um, it was born out of um, a desire to share uh, whatever learning I had when I studied in Italy um, about how um, fresh and um, how healthy Italian cuisine is. The cuisine in itself is something that espouses um, using just quality ingredients and doing things in a very fresh way. If we make a strong commitment with, with all of you that we will always do the best we can to bring the healthiest and the most delicious um, Italian food to you um, in a very responsible way. By using fresh and organic ingredients, cooking whole wheat pasta and serving white meat, Chibo makes sure each diner eats a healthy meal. Well, the, the menu of Chibo really sort of um, revolves around um, the very hearty pastas that we prepare. Aside from that, we also have um, uh, large salads and very healthy panini or sandwiches. Also very healthy breads because we use a lot of um, whole wheat um, in, in the breads that we prepare. And at the same time, um, even our white bread, we don't put any sugar in it, which I think makes it much healthier, uh, the same way that the Italians do their white bread there. And um, basically, it's, it's, um, th the menu is built around the freshest ingredients. When you eat whole wheat pasta, it's so much healthier because of the of the, the good carb that you're getting and the grains, and um, it also doesn't convert into sugar as quickly. Aside from that, our salad, now we have the insalatone, which is like a heftier portion of, of our salads. We don't really kind of like use too much dressing, so you really enjoy the, the greens in their most crisp way. We have another one that has very, very lean pork loin, so it's actually um, offering the healthier white meat, although when people say pork, they think it's unhealthy, but if you use just the loin and it has um, no fat at all and it's, it's uh, very, very lean, lean white, white meat. Uh, a lot of the organic farmers now have become more creative and there's also so many, many more of them, so it's become much easier for us to kind of like re-engineer our menu so that we can incorporate a lot more organic produce in what we serve. We have a lot of um, different organic farmers that, that we source our ingredients from. Um, there are some that are a little bit more institutional, like Costales Farms. I think they're one, they're one of the first um, certified organic farms in, in the Philippines. Chibo keeps its customers healthy not only through its ingredients, but by supporting their desired diets as well. There are people that, that are on, on these um, sort of healthy wellness diets like the Cohen diet or the Dukan diet or even the South Beach diet. So we've trained our, our wait staff to be able to um, offer the, the client um, salads and, and, or dishes uh, that, that are suited for these particular diets. Chibo also takes dining to a higher level by making vegetables appealing to even the youngest customers. This is our best seller, the spinach and the gorgonzola dip. It's uh, one of the most favorite dishes of the kids that come to Chibo and that's actually what made me develop our bridge concept called Chibo Bim. It's a special store just for kids. Um, of course, we do the menu for grown-ups as well. But at the, at the Chibo Bimbi, kids, kids below 12 are allowed to order um, smaller portions or kiddie portions. It's actually um, making kids fall in love with the Chibo concept so that um, they can always have an option to eat healthily and eat a lot of vegetables. Once that whole no plastic rule came out, um, we were very happy to convert and, and go into, into craft paper bags for our takeout packaging. At the same time, we're now using starchware. And to take it um, even further, we've um, taken actually um, the initiative already to start using paper straws. To espouse healthier living and green living. I just want to show you our plate and we're proud to say that they're not made in China. 
They're made in Paranaque here in Luzon. And at the same time, nearly zero carbon footprint because we produce it all in the Philippines and we help the Philippine economy as well by using local. This project called Books for the Better was something that, that um, my son started actually when he turned 18. We have um, drop-off boxes in all the Chibo stores and what we do is we, we sort the books and we find um, sort of uh, ready recipients for them. We've also been supporting their livelihood program. They, they weave um, bags and baskets for us and we use this as um, the containers for our, our sort of um, the food baskets that we sell. We make these baskets out of the, the trays that are woven from disposable um, soft drink Tetra Pak wrappers. We do medical missions with them and um, I feel that if you work with certain groups like really closely uh, it's easier to make your presence felt in helping a certain community. But whatever it is you help them with, kind of like becomes a little bit more permanent. For Chibo, their restaurant is more than just a business that serves delicious meals. People say that we're very happy that every time we go into any of your stores, the quality is always the same. They can also be assured that um, Whatever they're, they're enjoying is um, sourced in a healthy way. The produce is always of the best quality. You know, you're, you're helping the farmers, you're helping artisan producers, and at the same time, helping, I guess, um, protect you know, the, this very kind of um, fragile world that we live in now. I think that if you can work your restaurant in a way that you can creatively use whatever produce the organic farmer comes up with. Not only are you, you doing your clientele this wonderful service of making sure that they have everything fresh, but at the same time, you're also helping the farmer so that he can stay in business and continue to, to grow his farm um, in a way that, that can become so much more sustainable. It's not all just about running a restaurant that makes money and, and putting food on the table. I feel that when when one does does a business, it's it's really it shouldn't really be all just about the bottom line. It, it a lot of it has to do about has to do with make, running your business in a more responsible way, in a more sustainable way so that you can help the community and at the same time the, the entire country as a whole.